when I was at school in Clyde Bank, uh, when I was at school, which wasn't that often really, um, my favourite lessons uh, were English. I enjoyed uh, listening to Shakespeare, but the poems of Robert Burns were the ones that, that uh, really resonated with me. And I think that's because my father was a huge admirer of Burns and could recite many of his poems beautifully. And that was part and parcel of my home life, listening to my father of an evening uh, reciting Burns. And it's so important that our children still read Burns because he speaks of eternal truths uh, and speaks to the human spirit and soul so clearly uh, that it's, I can't think of another poet that has done that in such a special way, using the Scots language so beautifully and that language that is so rich and vibrant can't be lost. It's way too important. It's what brings us together. It's, it has a, a warmth and a beauty about it that can't be replicated. So keeping Robert Burns and his work alive in the schoolroom is incredibly important. I think it is probably the Cotter's Saturday night because it gives an insight into the rural people of Scotland and the lives they lived with such diligence and dignity and the love of the family group and the aspirations that a father has for his children and that's always been very special to me. In fact, on my 50th birthday, my wife organised a party and the cake was an open volume and the poem started and it was a quarter Saturday night. I think my favourite part of a Burns night, apart from the haggis, which I'm a great fan of, uh, is the immortal memory. It's interesting because anyone that gives the immortal memory, you get their point of view of what Robert Burns means to them and their idea of how much Robert Burns affected the world of literature and poetry. So I find that fascinating. Burns had that ability to appeal to so many people on so many different levels and speak straight to your heart at times that that you can hardly bear it. I feel very privileged to have been born a Scot and to have access to that native language which is so beautiful. It's very important on Burns Night to remember that man who lived for such a brief period and gave so much to the world, so much beauty to the world so much love to the world. It's interesting that Robert Burns was a man who lived most of his life in obscurity, a very harsh life, and died so very young and had never moved from Scotland, has had such a huge effect on the people of the world. Every new year, we sing that song, Old Lang Syne. He was Abraham Lincoln's favorite poet. Lincoln kept a, a copy of Burns' poems in his pocket most of the time and would recite that Scots language at the drop of a hat. Isn't that extraordinary? a man who had never moved out of Scotland affected the rest of the world. And the truth that he told in his poetry, the compassion and love for his country 
and his people and all people still reverberates today. To all of you and the globally admired great Scot himself, Robert Burns, Slange.